Hey everybody, this is author Jeff Bowles coming at you with another video game review. Uh, this time we will be checking out Dishonored 2, which uh, is not exactly as it turns out my cup of tea, um, but it will be the cup of teas, the cups of tea for many of you out there. Now, if you like what you see here, go ahead and do me a favor and like and subscribe uh, to Jeff Bowles Central, which is a great, great little neck of the YouTube. <laughs> neck of the YouTube. It's a great little neck of the YouTube. Uh, where I'm imagining YouTube with a neck. Is that weird? YouTube with like a little turkey neck. Is that weird? Uh, where we bring you, God, uh, three or four videos a week. Uh, video game reviews, retro roundup, cut-ups, all sorts of good stuff. So like this video, subscribe to Jeff Bull Central. All right, shameless self-promotion out of the way. Dishonored 2. Uh, so, I did get a chance to play the original Dishonored back in the day, and uh, I didn't like it very much, and I will tell you why. I am not a fan of stealth gameplay. Now, if you know anything about Dishonored, you know that the entire game series is built on stealth, so that is going to probably color my review, and I'm not even going to lie about that. I am IGN, folks. I can I can do whatever I want. I can say whatever I want. I can, I can do whatever I want. You can't stop me. So... Yeah, that's probably going to color my review. It's probably going to mean that I'm not going to be as big a fan of something like this as many of you will be. But if you're into stealth, then have at it. Have you have your fun. So, for those uninitiated, what is stealth gameplay? Well, stealth involves a lot of sneaking around, uh, getting up behind guards and enemies and knocking them out or, you know, murdering them, whatever, whatever your cup of tea is, uh, and then hiding, hiding them so that they're not discovered and, uh, you know, solving puzzles, disarming traps, uh, stealing loot, that actually is a lot of fun because it's like an automatic thing. You don't have to steal it and then sell it at a market. You just kind of automatically get the coin for it, which is really cool. Um, now, luckily, Dishonored 2 does feature a pretty robust combat system, which is an alternative to stealth, and it's probably the only way that I got through this game. Because I suck at stealth. I always, I always have the best intentions. I show up. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna sneak, but I don't. I get discovered, and I end up having to, you know, kill people, just cause, just cause they find me. Um, the graphics are fantastic. It is a gorgeous video game. The level of depth in each and every single area is amazing. You're, you're just gonna be, you're just gonna be amazed by what you see. The setting is fantastic. Uh, as you can see, like in a sequence like this one here, there is a slight bit of frame rate dip in some of the stuff, but that might just be because I played it on the Xbox One. I know PS4 and, and uh, uh, PC are going to have a lot less problems with it. Um, slight frame rate issues, but nothing that's really going to hinder uh, your gameplay experience. Combat systems robust, stealth systems robust, power system, collecting runes, collecting bone charms. Uh, there's not really so much a leveling progression system as you might expect, but you can progress your powers, and the bone charms add some nice kind of uh, status effect type things. I found that there was a lot of really cool variation in the enemy types, uh, which I really appreciated. We're about to go up against a clockwork soldier. These guys are tough. Don't even get me started on these dudes. Um, so, all in all, I am going to give Dishonored 2 an 8 out of 10. And some people might not agree with that. Some people might say, you look, this is a perfect game, this is a beautiful game, and at least deserves a 9. But again, I'm not into stealth, kids. I can't stand stealth. I just want, give me a sword, and let me just rip through shit. And that's really uh, to the benefit of the game that I had the option to do that, because if it was all stealth... No, thank you. 8 out of 10. That's it for me, kids. Bye-bye. See you next time. Ugh, what'd you think? Pretty good, right? Hey, do me a favor. If you like what you just saw, like and subscribe, and then get your ass on Amazon.com and buy this. Godling and Other Paint Stories. It's my new book. Six stories of science fiction, fantasy, horror, adventure, humor. You wanna laugh? You wanna laugh, boy? You wanna laugh, girl? I'm making you laugh for so good your head will spin or you don't know what to do. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm a little hopped up. I'm a little hopped up. I'm a little emotional. I'm a little emotional. I'm a little tired. I'm a little tired. I'm talking too much. I'm talking too much. Anyways, buy this book. Link's down below. Get on it. I gotta go take a nap.
Ja, goed zeggen. Bye.